Hello and welcome. Silra is here with Conan Exiles. You may notice things look a little different. Things look a little different. And allow me to enlighten you what has happened here. So we had to reset the entire server. <laughs> Uh, annoyingly enough, we we had to do that. We had to reset the entire entire server. So while I was doing my stuff, I, I I had two episodes recorded. One of those episodes actually ended up online and published um, before I before we realized we had issues and I had to take had to take that down. So if if you were if you saw that episode, it was up for like eight hours or something. Uh, if you saw that episode and are wondering what the heck is there a new uh, episode one, that's why we had to start anew on this on this particular server entirely. So what was happening is that some stuff was simply not spawning in at all. Like for example, the under dragon in the sinkhole, it wasn't appearing at all. L like we started uh, restarted the server multiple times and whatnot, and it just it just wasn't there. And had no idea why, because the only ones online was me, uh, and I was I was basically just recording stuff, and, uh, and uh, another person who was fly doing the fly flyby uh, or fly around in an admin mode, to making sure everything works. And then it's like, well, nothing works. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> yeah, server server was reset. That that, that happened. And. Speaking of the server reset, uh, here we are. I brought a new character then to about the same area I was in when when I ended the first episode, which uh, which has been taken down from YouTube by now because you know it's pointless episode. That uh, that that uh, that will be redone essentially. This is that episode now. <laughs> All right. Um, what I what I also did is I changed myself into a Darfari. So we are a Darfari cannibal and. I grabbed up uh, Derketo for my um, for my religion of choice, and obviously unlocked Yog by simply while I made my way up here by visiting Shaman's Rise and talking to the cannibal to get Yog. So there is that, and the reason I picked Derketo is because I do want to try out a few really different religious stu religious stuff now, and Derketo is. To me, at least, the most annoying one to get because it is in the Katang jungle, and I don't like jungle. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, here we are. I am a door for a cannibal now, and we will worship Yog. <laughs> right. So let's let's get ourselves to level ten, and then we can start doing stuff. Right. This is some easy XP. There we go. There. Is, this is some easy XP. There is the level 10 uh, attributes. Let I put 5 points in the expertise. I actually, obviously I have taken a look at this stuff now. Uh, for I this, so I'm not going to talk too much about that and why not. But there is still a whole lot of stuff I don't know. For example, how do you unlock sorcery? We will figure it out. I will figure it out here uh, while, I, while I'm going along. Now, give me that and let's build... Build some of these crafting station. Yeah. First, unlock the damn crafting station, right? So, this thing, this thing, give me iron tools and tannery, right? Do I want improved campfire yet? No, I don't really want improved campfire just yet. Um, okay, grab that. I need 13 for tamer. Alright, yeah, fine. And also armor, so we can. Okay. Okay, that doesn't work. I have to use the activate button. All right, fine, 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 fine. Uh, now crafting stations. Give me a furnace. Give me actually two of them. I'm just gonna plonk them down right here for now. I believe I had. Add coal. We can do. We can just split the coal in here for now, and start getting iron. Now start getting iron, so we can get iron, iron tools and weapons up. So 
So I want to build my base around here, but I had a, I have a funky idea. I want to build the base on top of this cliff here. Okay, let, let, let's talk. Let me talk about the server a little, in case you are absolutely new here. My archery play was done on this same server. This is a private server, by and by that mean uh, I mean it is it is a not a rented server. It's actually run on a on a local local computer here because. Setting up a Conan Exile server is not that difficult and why not. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So, people who play on this server, there's a couple of us. Not that many, just a, just a couple of us. Don't have, tend to have a lot of time to play. And so... Yeah. Put it this way, we have a few things in place which... Are meant to be, meant to be there to help us... Uh, Help us get along easier in the game and faster. Guess that's a thing we do. Let's make some bricks. Like, for example, there are no purges on this server. Uh, there is three times harvesting multiplier. So, as to get, you know, bases up faster, that sort of thing. Um, what else? Uh, no PvP and no base or thrall decay. So because nature of, of work, or at least one of the people who plays here from time to time, uh, is that they may have to take a month's break from the game, and they would prefer not having to, you know, start over every time they they wanna wanna play. Now, obviously, if this was a was a public server, somebody would abuse the heck out of that no no uh, base or thrall decay. Like, as, a, as an example, uh, take over the oasis here, and you know, just your base won't decay. Just take over it and, and cover it in in walls and whatnot to so make it, make it impossible for other people to do anything with oasis. Um, on, on here, because everybody knows everybody and everybody is a nice person, everybody is going to build their bases a little bit out of the way. So that, you know, we don't, we don't take over Oasis or any other, like, screw up uh, spawns on New Asgarath, for example, or any of that stuff. None of that stuff is happening here. Which is, which is, which is quite nice. Okay, let's get up the rest of these damn. Let's get up the uh, rest of these crafting stations. Alright, um... Tanner stable. Like right there, that will work. What did I need for tannery? 50 bark, okay. Easy enough. There we go. I want the tannery up. Mm, like... Oh, come on. Right there. This required iron bars, yes, and... This requires more wood. Which is not difficult either. Let's just get the carpentry bench up as well. And I want the armor workbench up too. Right now I'm just plonking down all the crafting stations so I can I can get started and and whatnot. Give me iron iron things. Iron tools, iron weapons. Most of all most of all give me give me give me iron. Yeah, <laughs> uh, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, so, did we did we have enough? Yep, we have enough. All right, carpentry bench. I think, I think it goes goes there. And I bought the like two blacksmith benches like here, or at least one of them. Uh, the iron bars are being made. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, you know what? I have some uh, bark. 
There's some barrack we can pull, already start with the barrack here. You make some shaped wood for me. Not you. You can make some more some more bricks for me because I'm gonna need a whole lot of bricks eventually. Let's go find some more iron. Iron and coal. Man, I want iron pickaxe so badly. Once I have the iron tools, we, I probably will start considering how to build that base up there on the cliffside. Well, 11. All right. We'll, co we'll consider what, what we want to do with, with attributes as well. Figure out how useful is authority. It's one of, one of the first things I want to try to do. Figure out how useful is authority. There is some coal. Grab some more coal over there. There we go. Ah, right. These things. Give me those wines so I can make twines. Did not intend for that to rhyme, but whatever. Mm, spill that. Eat the food I already have. Have in abundance. There is a little bit more iron. Iron is good. Give iron. No, don't give me stone. Give iron. There we go. There we go. Much better. Keep that hunger in jack, huh? So for now I am showing all this material farming and whatnot while we are getting started, but once um once I'm progressing a little further and whatnot, so that the we have a lot of other things we can do, you know, record and do. The, all this material farming is probably not going to get recorded at that point, but right now it's very integral part of this of this game by the material farming. Material farming. Give me more more bricks. Aha. We are about to have iron bars, which is good. That might be enough for the moment. Here we go. Do that. Lost all of this here. You know what? I'll leave the branches here as well right now. Do I have anything here that we can use? Hides. Let's uh, get up that armor's workbench. What did it require? Stone wood and oh, twine. Okay. What? Well, we almost have the twine, huh? We have plant fiber, so we can do like I don't know, fifty. We can do the rest of the rest of it that way. Yep. So stone wood and plant fiber. Easy enough. Then we need to hunt hunt some things to get 
get ourselves into an actual armor. But I don't want to hunt things until I have a, uh, have a have an iron weapon. Not that it's impossible to do with a with a stone weapon. It's it's not, but it's obviously easier with a better weapon, right? Easier with a better weapon. Yeah, I think we have enough wood. Let's grab some bark. Grab some bark for the 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 because we're gonna need all the leather. Yep, that should that should be very doable then. Probably make a light armor first. Cause that's just going to require hides for the most part, and hides are not that difficult again. Level 12, 12 and a half already. 13 I needed for the animal pen, right? Yeah, yeah. 13 for the animal pen. It will be easy enough. Okay, so work here. More branches here. And then let's set up the... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, That thing. 25, right? 25. Armor is workbench. You know what? Can be right there. Awesome stuff. We have armor's workbench. I'll leave the hides here. Yeah, I needed iron bar and leather for, for all, most of that. However, this is twine and hide. We can we can get a good amount of hide easily enough. Yes, we can strip hides out of, for example, reptile. Or or we can go hunt some hyenas for the other option. That just means we need more twines as well. Could be doable. There we go. Where is my cooking fire? There is my cooking fire. You know what? We can just grab those. Leave them here and you. Continue doing this. Right. Give me iron bars. And what was the what was the other thing we needed? 250 stone. Okay. Okay. There we go. Make a little bit more. So that I can repair this thing. Because I'm gonna need it for a little bit longer. Blacksmith. Blacksmith bench. Right here. Oh, right. That's where I need all the branches. Really. Because I need the branches for the handles for these things, right? Now I just need the iron bars. And there we go. There we are. Give me. Yeah, we're gonna need a need a bunch of bricks anyway. Now, how the blazes do I? How do I? Uh, get my way up there. Now, I could obviously wait until I uh, unlock an elevator, which is where exactly? 
thought Wither was level 19. That it's not that far away to get to get to an elevator. Let's uh, unlock some stuff here. Do I need a, a roofer? <laughs> Maybe I'll take the roofer as well. However, I don't like I don't generally like elevators, so we are probably ignoring that. Now, do we want do we want some some weapon? Well, fifteen for an iron pike. Javelin. I'm definitely gonna try a few different weapons out as well. Okay, where would I put the next points? Fast healer could be really useful. Authority, if I wanna mess around with that. Armor by forty and ten, stamina by twenty. It's fairly decent. Final hitman of harvesting grants twice as many resources. Careful harvest. Why is it likely to gather rare resources when harvesting? What all uh, does it count as rare resources? I may go uh, five points here to get e get material materials up faster, e even faster. I, I should say. I think that's um, that's um, a decent enough plan plan to start off with. I think that is a fairly decent plan. All right, it gets it's it gets dark. All right. Now we can leave this here and run around with an iron iron pack. Okay, let's go. Let's go farm stuff. Because now we can farm stuff. I'm gonna get the iron and the, the, the uh, coal from around the corner of the. Give me all of that iron. Yeah, I need to need to do some hunting here very soon. Get some actual actual food being made. Level thirteen. I may consider making a making a nice big animal pan and filling it with hyenas, and then seeing if I can if I can get myself a, like a. For example, a greater hyena. That could be really interesting. See how good is that. Should be iron here still, yep. And coal as well. Right now I need coal and I need iron. Coal to keep the furnaces running and iron to... All right, fine. Somebody is mad at me. You do you. I'm gonna go back home now. Let's whack at the, whack at the trees a little to get some bark. Oh, resin. Does is resin counted as a rare resource? Can you get more resin? Oh, I, I now I know what 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 it would probably be the, be for going into the volcano and getting uh, gold out of obsidian. That is what it probably would would be for most useful for anyway. We might actually end up in a medium armor. Because I have a feeling I will be getting more iron and, and leather over hides. Unless I want to uh, strip reptile reptile stuff for hides in, instead. And go into a light armor first. Light armor, uh, nice thing about light armor is that it allows me to ca carry more crap. You want all this bark. 
I'll drop the rest in here for now. Also, how are we doing with iron bars? Awesome. That is real awesome because that means we can do... I think we need to do sickle first, actually. So that I can get a whole lot of um, plant fiber and then make twines. Yeah, I think that seems more reasonable. I'm gonna go back where, where I, was, I just was and grab the rest of the iron and coal. Almost a level 14. Interesting. Uh, which also reminds me that I should be able to now unlock this thing. Animal pan. Uh, we'll have to check what, what is needed for an animal pan and how the... Uh, it, it was pretty large. It was pretty large. Gonna go that way ra right now. There is coal, and there is be more coal there. There is iron at the top. There is the level thirteen. Man, levels go so fast early on. So fast. You know how to. I don't, I don't typically bother trying to level in this game, especially when I'm, you know, playing in a, in a leisure, leisure pace. But it is not that difficult to get, like, get max level and, and some stuff done in, like, four hours, if you really want to. And I have, I have done it, I think I've done it in five hours before, but that was, like, more of a... Let's not rush it still. I'm sure you can do it in like a couple hours only if you really just want the level, max level, and be done with it. Okay, so what did I need for animal pan? 400 wood. 20 twines. Okay. And this required iron bars. We can we can set up a lesser wheel of pain and try to capture somebody for, for all. I might leave for all capturing until I hit level thirty though and get iron truncheon and all of that stuff. I think we may may leave for all capturing to that point. Yeah, that, that, that seems fairly reasonable. I also want to try out how blunted arrows work now. Like, are they still as good as they used to be? Like, rain blunted arrows from above and, and just capture everybody that way. Blunted arrows were level 30-something unlock. Um, 35, okay. A little bit away. Yeah, I think I think we are doing this. I think we are doing that. Yeah. And I have I have some crystals. Crystals can go here. Just don't need them for anything at the moment. You done with with my sickle? You're done with my sickle. Awesome. Go get a bunch of plant fiber. We can make a whole lot of twines. Yeah, I want to set up the animal pen. We will, we will, we will run around with uh, some animal companions. Figure out how those function. If they function.
Generally, there is a very good reason why uh, why you kind of want to get all the way to steel tools before you do any serious building. Guess steel, steel just gives you so much more materials. It's not even funny, or I suppose it's kind of funny. But yeah, gen generally, steel steel gives you so much so much more, so much better materials. Oh, now I can also get a whole lot of aloe leaves. Let's go. Come on. Get whacked. There we go. And did we just hit level 15? Oh man, we did. Which means we can get this and a fireball cauldron. That's cool. Iron axe. Don't really want or need. Iron Axe. Was there anything else at level 15 that I really would have wanted? There's Iron Pike. And again, we can do with these weapons for a bit. Yeah, this is 16 damage, this is 20 damage. Like, the damage difference is not that, that massive, right? This is 19, where was the... This is 17. So we can, we can do with those for a bit, those free weapons. Hmm... Anything else I want, like, really badly right now? I could unlock the improved campfire already. But I really want to unlock that once we have a thrall to actually uh, smack into it. Until then, it doesn't really matter that much. Okay. Now we have food. A lot of it. And also, let's grab this. Why is as many resources? Thank you. That will that will make getting the, all the iron a lot easier, a lot simpler. Give me all the iron. Iron. Right. So something like this. That will that will do. Mm, actually, yeah, screw that up, huh? Yeah, just that amount. Thanks. Just so we have a uh, have a few more few more bandages around, you know, if in case and when we need them. So now I want something we can we can use to hunt hunt things with. And I also would like this. I guess we grab that first, and then hmm. You know what? Do we start with daggers? I guess we start with daggers because dag daggers are typically are, are stupidly good most of the time. But I'm gonna carry that with me for now. Can be here. Okay, I have I have extra bandages. We can actually make that right here. We don't need to carry them with us for now. Grab, grab the coal down here. Need those furnaces burning for a while now. There is some bark. More bark. 
I think I might have the brakes I need for the moment. There isn't... Well, there is some iron still around here. As well, that I can try and get my hands on. But let's get some more brakes done anyway. Because do need a whole lot of brakes overall. If nothing else, need a whole lot of uh, hardened brakes in the end as well. Uh, wrong damn table. Split the coal as well again between these two. Okay. That is the iron bar. Now, now, let, yeah, let's let's do daggers first. Let's around with daggers for now. And. Once we have daggers, we will we will go and, and do stuff. Give me daggers. I can actually leave the construction hammer here as well. Don't need that for now. Want the skinning knife? That's about it. All right. Let's go get ourselves into an ar into an armor. Oh, we got to. Check on the damn animal pan. Hmm. Oh well. We will do this after. We shall do it after. Let's uh, get some crocodiles slaughtered. No, no uh, agility weapon damage, and uh, daggers are agility weapon. So let's see how this goes. Considering they are daggers. Considering these things are crocodiles, which makes them really easy to kill. Easy and predictable, right? Oh, actually. Why? Yeah. Let's do that out of the way as well. Far as, far as all this, this journey nonsense to goes. There's another level up. Yeah. Right. So that thing you are seeing there, that pop-up. Uh, I tried looking into, into the options, in the settings, to, uh, of, for a way to turn it off. But apparently there isn't. So it seems like you cannot turn it off, which is a little annoying. Because I have no interest at all in 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 the whole I'll pass and challenges and whatnot. So hmm. for me, this is a this is a sandbox game. I do the things I want to do. I don't do missions. I don't do quests. Or any of that stuff. Those things are for 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 when I play MMORPGs. For when I play. Very different games. Not when I play sandbox games. Sandbox games are all about the freedom of do whatever you want. And I, I really don't want the um, random missions and whatnot here for me. So feel free to ignore them. I am, I am going to ignore them entirely. Daggers are still good. Or 
grab some iron with us. Back home as well. And coal. Man, I'm almost another level. We actually almost have the levels now for the damn elevator. I'm one level away from the elevator. Oh, jeez. Now the game is just tempting me to build a damn elevator. Okay. And you will work as well. For getting me some hides. I might actually use these for the hides, huh? Should probably do that. All things considered. And let the let all the crocodile uh all the reptile hide be turned into leather. As it should. Because there is there is a lot of these things around. And they really only give hides. Oh, level 18. That means it means. Uh this is 19, actually. Damn it. I thought it was 18. 19. Well, we want one more level. Uh, one more level for that. Which will happen nice and quick here. Nice and fast will happen that. Yeah, we'll, let's hunt these things for the hides, for the light armor. This also means I need more bark. A lot more bark. At this point, basically need all resources. Until I have a proper good resource farm going. I could always consider just going taking my base next to Sepamaru instead of building up here. But I kind of like the like the idea of building up here. There is a whole lot of Darfari camps around. We can we can mess around with. That seems kind of that seems kind of fun. Mm, another 40 iron. We can build the hatchet finally. Let's, uh, repair this. While we are at it. I have a good amount of coal. Oh, right. Yeah. All of these here. Start doing that. And then this thing. Oh, right. We, we need some... Hmm. We need fuel source here. Only feral flesh here. Thanks. You need horns for some helmets. Right? Anyway. Anyway. Give me... Yeah, give me those. We go here. You... Five light paddings. Go. Actually take like a hundred out of there for now and see what 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 was it I needed for the what was it I needed for the animal pen 300 stone 400 wood it should not be that difficult especially now with that with that so 400 wood 300 stone Here's a question, which one of the light armors is worth using now? We have the stone, now I need the wood.
There we go. Yeah, as mentioned earlier, three times harvesting multiplier. Bloody heck, this thing is bad. Let's climb up here and see. Can we even fit it here? Can we even fit the damn thing here? No, we can't. No, we can't. I, I think we need to fit it up there, though. Yeah, I think we are fitting it there. We will eventually dismantle it anyway. Eventually dismantle the damn thing. Okay, it's going to be here. What the heck, that thing is massive. Ah. Alright, fine. But it did have room for five pads. So we will we will see about the, doing that. Ah, there is the fuel source for my for my cooking. Maybe maybe I don't cook yet. Maybe I wait for the drying rack and make dried meat because dried meat lasts for a lot longer. But here is here is fuel for it anyway. Mm. Leave the rest here. Okay, yeah, we don't we need more hides now. That is busy making. Yeah, let, let's keep those those things coming along. And you make some more of shape bud. We need shape wood for the damn drying rack as well. Don't need this with me. Do we have enough iron to make make more iron stuff? We do. We do. What else do I need? What else do I what else would I want? These, da these daggers will, will uh, do me a mo moment. So I think I'm holding on to the daggers for the time being. Let's let's go consider a um, lot of stuff then. I should form the uh, stone and wood to ma actually make a base. Actually make a base. But first, let's get ourselves into light armor. Okay, what the... What was that teleportation around? What about... Okay. What in the crack? What's going on here? I mean, this one did die for... to the... to the... the bleed. But that, that's a... Like... How am I failing to kill these things right now? What is up with that? That should die to the blade. Oh, I was stuck inside it and that's why I got hit. Okay. Where did the... I have no idea where the corpse went. Yeah, I'm not doing... Uh, I'm not doing quite enough damage with these things, am I? Not quite. Not quite enough damage. I guess that's fine. Give me a two-handed sword. Huh. Uh, I'm already going for the damn two-handers. I just happened to prefer the two-handers. That's my. That's just bad, basically. Should die to the bleed. There we go. All, the, all this teleporting around is the is the issue. Like, like they start start teleporting away from me. So, like that. That was much better. It didn't it didn't jump off into into the distance. 
Okay. Good thing is I'm also getting a whole, whole, whole lot of horns. Actually, kill one more and then get a bunch of bark out of these trees for all the leather I need to get. That's 500 hides. That should that should net me a medium, uh, not medium, a light armor or two. I'm thinking we'll run around in in some light armor for the for the moment, for the time being. That is to level 19, so that gives me. That, that that gives me the um, the drying rack. Also, does give me the elevator. What the heck? Do I really want the elevator? Normally, the, uh, this oh, 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 oh wrong tool for that. Wanna use this so I can get more wines. Give me bark. I also need bark into the drying rack as well. To remember that too. Very good. Torch away. Eat some random things. Gotta get that bug energy in. Bug energy. We have 99 reptile hides, but that's another 99 leather. I am almost level 20. Almost. Not in, uh, not yet, but almost. Oh, level 20 does unlock the, the, the wonky armor stuff. Right? Right? I'm rem remembering that correctly. Savage armors. Yeah, Dorfari. Dorfari skin. De With that, then I would be all, all, all yog. <laughs> Cambridge Shaman, and also, ooh, Hyperborn Enslaver, right. Oh, some of these require fur to make, which means I would need to go the north to get that stuff done. Right, fine. Stygian Kopash. Do we unlock this and, and mess around with the one-handed sword? I haven't played around with the one-handed sword for a lot, for a while. I'm not, not, not a fan of those, you typically. Yeah, level 20. Level 20. Level 20 actually gives me an iron maze already, which is better than uh, 21 iron two-handed sword. That would be that would be the two-hander for me. 21 for blunted javelins. I may have to try out blunted javelins. Figure out if those are actually worth using now. They used to be other garbage. A few more stone. Okay, good. That's a lot more iron bars. Well, a lot. I guess a lot is a is a relative term. So let's say like three fifty here, and more of that. Get more leather going. Yep. Split this between these two. Give the fuel running. Um. Well, that that's nice. And we have another 144 of those too. <laughs> okay. Okay, we don't have to worry about wines in, in for, for a moment, huh? 
Now, now we can do light armor. Just have to figure out which light armor we are going to do. Also, also, what was the... What did I need for drying rack? I think it was... It was, it was... Um, oh, I obviously need to unlock it first. That is what I should have to do, huh? That is a drying rack. Okay, let's also unlock the grinder in case we need that for something. Don't need it yet. Um, thrall pot. Oh, does, does thrall pot still work in such a fashion that it keeps food uh, from going bad for longer? That is worth uh, looking into. So... Well, what's that? 20 shaped wood, 10. Uh, very easy. Very easy, right? Then... Well, you take all of this wood. And 20. Right. Drying rack. Put it right there. Work in it. That stuff in it. Make, make the right meat. Let's actually do, do that as well. That's why the blight's not. Um, oh, right. We do have... Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be a good amount of food for me. No, I don't have to worry about food Food for a bat. Mm. Oh, I do have feral flesh here. Maybe. Maybe we hold on to the feral flesh. Is that is that something we do? Ew. I could feed the feral flesh to the... Let's pull it here so that I remember. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try to make that thrall pot. Let's see. Let's see. If, if we make the thrall pot... Uh, does it keep... Does it indeed keep, keep stop from going bad for longer? What? It used to work that way. Let's find out if it still does. So, into the thrall pot you go. So, there is 19 seconds on that. Now it's two, two minutes on it. Hmm. Okay, it still works that way. Okay, that makes the thrall pot worth worth making. Um, how about we run around with like an Agilonian greatsword for a bit? Or a Poitain greatsword. And I already want to go greatsword, don't I? <laughs> Fine, let's mess around with these daggers. Don't don't waste uh, iron bars just yet. Oh, I have six light paddings. That's fine. Now figure out which light armor are we going to do. Uh, Aquilonian scout, never mind on that. Which light armor? Ooh, Kitan Masonary. We could do Kitan Masonary. I could walk. Do the basic light armor. Nah, don't want basic light armor. Pick this wizard. I used pick this wizard. Is pick this wizard going to be agility weapon damage? Because I used pick this wizard all through the... Not all through the... But for a, for a quite a bit of the... Of the, 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 the... Archery play. Turanian Scout. Rainian Scout is, is very good. I mean, it looks very um, desert-ish. And I, I really like how the way it looks. But you know what? Let's make pick this wizard. I kind of want to know what they... What did they do for the... For the um, attribute bonuses on these things. So pick this wizard. I should make a... Yeah, I should make this second water skin as well, so... Give me, what, what was it, like three of these? Something like that. No, five. Okay, five. Two more. Five and then five of these. Okay, now yeah, let's make the second water skin. So that I don't, I don't run out of water while I, while I run, wander around. 
And before I end this recording, we are going to climb up there once I'm in my pick this wizard outfit and, and figure out, you know, do we build the base up there or not? I could definitely see myself doing an elevator. That, that would be the easy way, right? Do an elevator. But we could just make a uh, sandstone like staircase going like in a zigzag, some sort of a zigzag fashion going up there. Let's find out. Oh, oh, what? It gives health. Oh, I did not expect that at all. It gives health. No. Uh, nope. Okay. Okay, my, my pick this wizard off, it gives health. Huh. Fine. Now, do we have the stamina to climb up the. Well, that's the first question. That is such a good addition to the game, by the way, on PC. I don't, I don't know about consoles, but what they did with with the consoles. But there is now a key bind you use to uh, stop climbing. That is such a good, that is such a good addition to the game. Because it fixes a lot of the uh, climbing issues. Do I have the stamina for this? If I don't, I might die. Oh man, this is going to be real close. Ooh, I got up here. Holy moly, this is like empty and stuff. There is a lot of empty space. Okay, we are building up here. <laughs> we are building up here for sure. Yeah, we are building up here. I can do I could do a, an elevator on this side, so then I'm gonna get in and out from both sides. But I really hate elevators. This is me. I really don't like elevators. I I know they they got a, a lot less space and whatnot. They are useful from that point of view. Like they are really useful. I just don't like elevators. I I, I like to run up, up up a set of stairs and you know set up a bunch of um what you call it. Uh, Bloody egg. Set up torches and whatnot. Make it a proper path. Maybe even set up like a some sort of a platform in midway where you can where you can sit down and, and have a drink on the way up. Like with chairs and stuff. I like that a lot more. Than elevators. Okay, so now the question is then, um where do we make the uh, way up here? Where do we build that? could be on here or it could be on here one or the other like I could see definitely see it being like right here right there start from there and come all along this mountainside in some sort of a zigzag fashion to get up top here and build me a build me a world up here anyway i'm gonna call it an episode right here thank you very much for watching and i will see you folks next time with more conan exiles